case you happen to skip through a bit of the introduction, um, hopefully you read the title of this video correctly. I am indeed doing a bit of a thrift flip, or I guess you could call it a bit more of upcycling than a thrift flip, um, considering this is an old piece of clothing, this dress that I had from the third grade, which I'm pretty sure it existed a little before that. But the thing is, I wore it for a dress up day back in the third grade, and obviously I'm not in the third grade anymore. I am actually a high school student, so it's way too tight, way too small. So I figured why not upcycle it into something like a top, or some sort of blouse that I might use for the future and future years to come. To kick everything off, I used my seam ripper to take apart the entire dress so that I had individual pieces such as the sleeves, which were way too small for me, but then I also had other pieces such as the front and the back panels of the dress, as well as the front pockets, which were located on the front of the dress, though I don't think I really used them later on. Um, but it's pretty helpful to have extra bits of scrap fabric. After this, something that I did, which I didn't show on camera, was that I had to wash all of these pieces individually. Um, just because it was a really old dress, um, that's something I would recommend you do before actually um, sewing. So then after that, after everything was dried, I decided to iron everything flat, which would make everything way easier when I was measuring and cutting. And here are my measurements, just for reference. Due to the fact that I didn't want this blouse to look like just any traditional t-shirt, I needed to actually cut it a little bit differently. So to do that, I actually used part of the way that the dress was already as a reference. And I knew that I wanted my blouse to be a full 19 inches, but to do that, I had to remove like about six inches from the top. So due to that, I actually had to mark things off a little differently. But after that, I just cut it as a straight line and I used this one pattern piece to help me out a little bit. Um, so I tried to align it with the armhole area of the original dress's fabric. And I tried to use this pattern around the armhole area to help guide me a little bit into how I would cut the armhole. So I just cut it just as I would with any other top. The only difference is that there was less fabric to cut. And all I needed to do after that was trim the sides a little bit. The way I intended this top to be made was so that the front and the back panels together making the main part of the top would resemble sort of an off the shoulder top but add some sleeves onto it. So I used the front panel which I just um, cut to help me out with measuring the back panel which would be the exact same measurements and I used some chalk to help me mark off the wrong side of the fabric making it easier to distinguish when I was sewing. Just if you were wondering, here is a quick reference of what my pieces of fabric looked like after I cut them. So the next portion of fabric cutting was devoted to cutting my sleeves. I really, really wanted some sort of a puffier, large sleeve going on with the top. I just felt it would look really nice with the style. So I just marked along, like away from the fold of the fabric, 10 inches. And then that allowed for, I believe, enough space to be used for at least one of the sleeves. I used this one sleeve pattern that I had on hand. And the thing is, you're noticing that there's a lot of extra fabric on the end um, close to the fold. That was to help with the sleeve being a lot more bunchy um, at the top of the sleeve itself once it's attached to the rest of the top. So I just cut along the curve of the sleeve where it would be attached to the armhole and then I cut straight down without slanting the sleeve. Here's an example of what I was talking about earlier with the main part of the top resembling some sort of an off the shoulder style. But in order to keep the sleeves attached to the rest of the top and make everything look neat, I kind of needed these small strap like parts um, to be attached to the top of the bodice. So to do this, I had a bit of leftover scrap fabric from cutting the sleeves and they were almost three inches wide. Um, and I had two long strips of fabric that were identical in this way. 
So all I did was I marked off 14 inches here, but I think later on I switched to about 15 or 16 inches to give any extra wiggle room needed. So I just trimmed down the fabric a little bit so that both pieces of fabric would be identical. And I believe I cut them to be about two and a half or two and three quarters of an inch wide. Once again, here's a quick reference of what my sleeves and the long strips of fabric looked like once I cut them. Once done cutting the little strips of fabric, this is essentially an idea of what both the strips of fabric and then also the sleeves should look like once you are done cutting it all. Once done cutting all of the other pieces of fabric, I moved back to the front end, the back bodice pieces. So I started off by hemming the top of both the front and the back since they are symmetrical. And I just headed over to my sewing machine to get the job done. And please keep in mind the top hem is the hem that is closest to where the armpit hole cutting area is. Following this, I decided that everything would look a lot better if I shirred my fabric. Um, hopefully I plan to get some sort of video out later about shirring fabric, um, but it's pretty simple really. It's just about winding your bobbin thread with, instead of thread, you're using elastic thread and you just run a straight stitch all the way down without locking the ends. And it's actually pretty simple. Hopefully I'll get a video out about it later. Here's an example of the effect that's given when you shirt fabric. So it basically bunches up your fabric a little bit. So I basically repeated this with both the front and the back and I believe I did about like 10-ish rows which gave me a really bunchy effect. It took a long time but it was super duper worth it. After admiring the shirring handiwork I did with the front and the back panels, I moved on back to the long strips of fabric which I cut earlier and I decided to do a quick little roll hem on one of the long sides of each strip of fabric and I essentially just marked off um, certain parts of the fabric so that I could attach it well to the rest of the panels in the front and the back and I just did a quick straight stitch across to lock those straps of fabric in place. Here you can see how it's been attached on the other side and I had to move and rotate the rest of the front piece so that I could attach the back piece in the exact same way. And after this I decided that it was time to basically line up the seams of both the front and the back panels and I pinned it in place to help me out and I basically did a straight stitch run all the way down the side of the front and the back panels. I was about to do some more work on the sleeves but then I realized that there was still a bit of extra fabric that hadn't been used which was essentially the small sleeves that used to be attached to the original dress. So I actually decided to do a bit of shirring work on the bottom of those and then I did a gathered stitch on the end of my full sleeved fabric and essentially gathering stitches are pretty simple. Might also do a video on this in the future though if needed but it was pretty simple. You just do a large straight stitch all the way down and pull on the ends of your fabric to gather your fabric and distribute the gathers evenly throughout the fabric so that it's to the length that you want. So I just gathered it until it matched the length of the small sleeve and I just attached it and did a straight stitch run all the way on that end to attach the two pieces of fabric. As you can see, it gave 
an even better bunched effect on the end of the sleeve so I turned my sleeve right, right side to right side and I just did a straight stitch all the way down to close off the sleeve. After that I had to turn my sleeves, both of them, inside out or actually right side out so that the right side would be facing the right side of the inside of the bodice. I hope this is making sense but I hopefully this will speak for itself but I had to line up some of the seams of like right where the armpit was so that it could match up pretty well with the bodice area itself so I had to lay the seams flat so that everything would match up and then after that I just had to match up the rest of the sleeve with the straps of fabric and just sew a straight stitch all the way around at my sewing machine. Just wanted to show you guys the full look of the sleeve so I turned it inside out a little bit so I could show you guys exactly what I've been talking about about like a bungeeer sleeve so you can see where the sleeve was gathered a little bit. I basically repeated this with the other sleeve on the other side as well and I just hemmed the bottom doing a simple rolled hem allowing me to finish off the project. So here's a little bit of a try on for all of you just to see how the top works in real life, in real time. I really just love the color, love the style, love the fit of the whole top. I'm super proud of how this project came out and I even took a couple of pictures with it. I got a chance to wear it to a Valentine's Day photo shoot as well. I'm just super duper proud of how this top came out. If you guys enjoyed this video, please like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll be sure to see all of you guys in my next video. Bye.